You made a comment uh, recently where you said that uh, the retail investor is probably going, who has, we all know, been sitting out, uh, will probably start looking back at 21 to 22,000 on the Sensex. From what I hear you saying, that's clearly not happening in a hurry. So are we saying on the one hand, we are not going to have that domestic inflow coming in. On the other hand, with the whole QE tapering happening, with concerns about India's growth, you actually might see outflows and not necessarily those kind of billions of dollars flowing in. And that, from a market point of view, may not be good news at all. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, but, you know, some of these cycles, you know, they last for a period of time and then they reverse trend. It's all a function of relative valuations across markets. Currently, the trade is very clearly towards developed markets against emerging markets. But when the valuation differentials expand, and once you see, like I said, the macroeconomic fundamentals of emerging markets you know, improving, you will see this trade reversing. I normally see this happening within a period of around 18 months to you know, 20 months, and the trade reverses. So I would say that there is a pain that we'll have to go through. Uh, we'll have to show improvement in macroeconomic uh, variables uh, to uh, attract investments back into the country. But within the emerging market space, uh, both from a valuation point as well as the macro point, where does India stack up right now? now I think uh, India, at this point of time, uh, it's still, uh, from a growth perspective, you know, not very attractive. Like I said, you know, we're hardly going to see major earnings growth. Uh, so once that sort of bottoms out, that's the time, you know, uh, one starts getting interested into India. Remember, whenever you see an acceleration in GDP growth rate, the earnings also starts accelerating. Uh, because the operating leverage slowly starts coming back. But it becomes uh, very significant when you grow above potential. And that's the time you start reporting, you know, great numbers. And I don't see that uh, scenario, you know, emerging at least for the next two years. So for the next two years, we'll be still growing definitely below potential. It's, you know, after two years, whether we're able to get our investment uh, cycle going, uh, the CapEx cycle going, that's the time when you start growing at a much, you know, stronger pace above potential. And then the growth comes back. Mm -hmm. So then you have a combination of both the improving you know, fundamentals and the earnings, you know, recovery, uh, which will justify, you know, higher valuation multiples. Till then, I think we'll hover around these, you know, bands.